Barbarians took early lead through French centre Matthew Bastorot before the flying fidgets hit back through Anele Malayele. Footwork of Mapinti, but excellent tackle by Wanningolo. Barbarians over the try line and Mathieu Bastao stretches and scores. It's perhaps on for Malele if he can reach. He's dropped the ball, has he? Or has the try been awarded? The flying Fijians then took the lead. Teti Teller's effort seeing them ahead 14 points to 12. Lamani still going. Wanigolo is still available. The arrival of Teti Teller. What a breakout by Fiji. The Barbarians managed another first half try, this time to South Africa's Andre Estuizen, but missed conversion, which saw the Flying Fijians take a 14 12 lead into half time. Loose forward John Dyer took just seconds to add Fiji's advantage in the second half. With a bit of purpose in this second half, the big drive forward. And it's going to be the try for Johnny Dyer, the drive by Moses Ivonka. The Barbers hit back through Mampi. The Springbok swinger showing off a trademark finish in the corner. Temo Mayana Vanua kept Fiji in the lead before Dyer's second of the match effectively sealed the victory. The Barbarians mounted a late comeback, but the points gained were not enough to close the gap as Fiji were triumphant, claiming the Kelly Cup. Yeah, look, it's a Barbarians game. We wanted to win. You know, we prepared to win, but I thought we played with a lot of spirit and congratulations to Fiji. You know, that's their next generation coming through. They played with a lot of toughness, particularly were very good at the breakdown and beat us in that area. The Flying Fijians now returns home, while the Barbarians will next face Wales on November 30th.